Hi everybody, it's Mini Me. I'm the brains of the outfit, not that big tall guy. So whatever he tells you, meh, listen to me. I'm the brains. When you, when you start zeroing, a lot of people that have trouble right off the bat, and it's usually the new guys, and that's okay, but sometimes it's the veterans as well. Anyway, they start with the bit way up here on top of the touch plate. And they can't figure out why when it goes that away, nothing happens. They get an error. Error 9. Well, here's the deal. See where this bit is behind me here? That's where you're supposed to start. Notice down here low, it's only about this far above the touch plate. Now for some guys, that's about six inches. For many me, it's only about an eighth of an inch. So that's where you want to be, about an eighth of an inch above the, above the wood that you're going to be zeroing to. Because when you start zeroing with the TriQuencher software that I wrote, not the big guy, mini me, I wrote it. When you start zeroing, it's going to go that way until it touches off on this side right here. Then it's going to go right, going to come back and go all the way to the back and all the way back around to the back edge and then come forward and touch on the back. Then it's going to lift up real high above the top of the touch plate and come forward and touch off on the top up here. Then it's going to shoot off way, way, way back behind me. For some guys, like the big guy, it's about an inch. For me, yeah, that's a long way. That's a good four feet. Anyway, once that's done, you're going to remove the touch plate, remove the magnet, always take the magnet with the touch plate. That's what I told the big guy to tell everybody, and I think he does. He listens to me sometimes. Anyway, then you got to move out of the way, because when you hit go to zero, either in Mach 3 or Universal G-Code Sender or Pick Sender or Easel or whatever, the bit's going to come scooting right across and it's going to park right up here on the corner, the front left corner of your material. Now you can use different code that's in the toolbox to zero way over on the other side of the material, on the right side. Or you can even zero in the center of your material. All kinds of different ways of doing it. All courtesy of Mini Me. Not the big guy. Don't let him tell you different. So, Let's just watch it run zero. back out of the way. So, big guy, move the touch plate. Make yourself useful. Whoa, dude. <laughs> okay, so now go click the go to zero button. Get out of the way. And now it's sitting on X, Y, Z, zero. It'll be the same spot every time. So, now you know how to start it up, right? Cool, right?